<sighs> it's a sad one. We have lost Professor Pius Adesomi. Very fine, astute academic. One of Nigeria's finest, one of our best, one of the pride that Nigeria ever has produced. It's unfortunate. A lot of us already learned of the crash of one of Ethiopia Airlines aircraft, a Boeing 737, uh, on Sunday morning. Unfortunately, uh, all passengers on board the faithful aircraft did not survive. While we were still caught, you know, in the midst of trying to find out what exactly happened, um, Notice came. I first saw one Egbon. I first saw, no, not an Egbon first. I saw a post on Facebook by Inibe Ifyong because I wasn't online. But the moment I launched Facebook, I saw a post on Facebook by Inibe Ifyong, a lawyer friend, one a vibrant lawyer who, is also, who turns out to double as uh, the AAC National Legal Advisor. I saw you posted, Professor Pius, I did something, please say something. I was like, what is this one saying, Joe? Well, don't be troubling, but if you want to talk to Professor Pius, I did something, can't you message him in inbox? I was thinking that to myself. Then I scrolled, I saw more than almost 200 shares of the last post made by, made by Professor Pius, I did something on this wall that was more like, a literary or biblical quote people were sharing i'm like i read it what's special about this thing it's not like somebody just reading a bible passage out now and professor paris this one is not known to be pastor here at the boy that is sharing word of exhortation from the bible from the scripture so why are people sharing this thing i scrolled more and i saw one egg more Barrister Edowa Okweju, he just posted a blank thing and now connected the dots. Sorry, what are people trying to say? Then I quickly went to check. Then I went to the wall of Mrs. Bamidele Ademola Olateju, uh, uh, Premium Times, a famous Premium Times uh, writer, to check because I know that. She and uh, Professor Bami did, uh, Professor Paris did something used to do, I mean, and do many conferences and programs together. So if anything had happened, I know she would know. Because the last time there was a crash, road crash involving Professor Paris did something from Ogbomoshon from Ruti Badon, as I learned. She was the person from whom I confirmed how true that road crash was. So I went to her world. She didn't post anything. She didn't say, any, say anything. I went to her inbox. I noticed she was online. I called her. She didn't pick. I'm like, ah, this thing is looking like you people want to scare me. What's happening? Ah, Kilo Shele. I started calling her and I called the Egbon. I said, Egbon, can you please delete what you posted? What happened? He said, ah, Shegun, what have you on your turn your row? Ah, what have you to lose, Professor Paris? I just had to lose it, Tani. How can now? Have you confirmed it? He said, although we haven't seen the manifest, but he has called somebody in Addis, uh, that's Addis Ababa, and then the person seemed to be confirming that he saw Prof, and that Prof must be on the flight because Prof is one of the uh, Asian delegates that were going for the, for the summit in Kenya. So Prof was most likely to be, even we are, though we haven't seen the manifest, I'm like, uh-uh. But you know that sometimes we have had some of our people escaping things like this by whisker. How about we wait? Can you please delete that thing you posted? Please, please. I begged him. 
while I was speeding with him, the wife overheard our conversation and the wife also prevailed on him to say, ah, I think Shegun is right. Where is the she? You know, the man post you are scaring people. He said, okay, Shegun, my wife is agreeing with you. I want to delete it temporarily. But from what I'm seeing and hearing and confirming from people in those places, I think it might be true. I said, Prof should be in Canada. Prof should not be in Ethiopia at that time. Prof will be in Canada. Then it turned out somehow to be true. I called around also, checked other people, and I'm like, can Prof truly say, t- say something so that we can at least put this matter to rest now? Uh, even as I speak with you, Till now, I'm still expecting Prof to do him, even if it's just put dot on his wall, just write dots as an update on his wall, so that we can say, okay, he's beaten again. <sighs> because I just want to read a post by Prof, whether now or tomorrow, anytime, stating that he, has, he either missed that flight, that fateful flight, or he escaped or survived the crash by a whisker. I'm still waiting for that post. Because it's still hard for me to accept or believe that we have lost Prof. I'm sorry if I'm sounding unreasonable, but I know how broken I am right now that Prof could be gone. Just like that. And then I started reminiscing Prof. Because it would still look like we are conversing. You know, as of last night, I was still like, uh uh. Prof will soon talk to me, Joe. It cannot be. Then, Shore Moyeli posted and said he has confirmed that one of our brightest, Professor Paris Adesomi, was in that crash. For real? Prof was. Oh man, a lot of people are confirming it. But, uh, Ojudu. Babajide Ojudu, special advisor to um, Vice President Yemi Osimbajo posted looking like money, more, many more people are confirming. Kayo De Ogundami say posted and more comrades started posting their condolences already. I'm like, am I the only person who is still alone refusing to accept that this is true? Why are people of little faith now? I was like, can somebody come to my head? Prof cannot go like that. Prof cannot go like that. Then, why am I so pained? Why am I so pained? I just remember those moments with Prof. And I also recall, in fact, as of last night, it was still difficult for me to accept. Because it would still look like Prof and I, because I remember his demeanor, his means, his, his attitude, his characteristics, the way he talks, when he wants to make jests, when he wants to, oh, aboma, bala, he will joke, he will make satire, and he will still pass his me- message without hurting the principle of politeness. Yet, he will not compromise the standard of ideological principles. He knows how to, how to weave all of these things. And although sometimes it gets to him that when he's so angry, you can see it, that Prof will just l- unleash it and say, these children, these millennials, this, he, will, he will tell it. He will unleash it, but he will still pass the message without necessarily hurting, you know, in a very rude way. Prof is satire personified. He embodies vision, studious academic. Prof is a rare breed. It is still difficult to refer to Prof in the past, so I can't use the word, I can't use the verb was for Prof. He's still, he's still around. I still feel Prof. It's still difficult to accept that Prof is gone. My first encounter with Prof. 
prof came although i had encountered him the way every other person had encountered him through his column i first met prof i think he wrote for nigeria village square if i remember collect co i mean correctly and then i later started reading him on a column special column for him on sahara reporters at those those times i was still a student at the university of lagos and i was also randomly momentarily writing some pieces for as a columnist but occasional articles and then but i was reading prof it would it would give him more tonic it would give us more the way every other person met him online reading his columns was the way i first met him but my first ki physical meeting with prof was was it okay in 2000 before 2013 there was there was a conference organized a symposium organized i don't know if it was okay i think it was pastor bakare's whether birthday or other events organized by pastor bakare i think it was I think we were auditing Nigeria's democracy together on a June 12 event and he came to deliver the speech. But before he delivered the speech, the former minister of FCT, El Rufai, was there. He was one of those who made, you know, people who make speeches first before the keynote speaker would then come and give the address. So Professor, I mean, Malam Nasir Rufai was not yet a governor, then he was a former minister, but he was yet to become a governor in Kaduna State. So I remember it was not a recent thing when I met Prof. So I think I have the video here that I have cut out of Nasir Rufai uh, making, he was talking about Prof while he was greeting the people. He, he, he made a quick reference to Professor Pastor Adesami who was to give the speech on the day. And here is what uh, Nasir El Rufai had to say on the day about Professor Pius Adesami. Professor Pius Adesami, who always, consistently, without fail, delivers very insightful and thought provoking speeches. I don't know how he does it. I'll be encouraging one of my sons to study French in the University of Illore, hoping that he might end up like Pius, but I guess it's just wishful thinking. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was, uh, I don't know, the internet is fluctuating. I don't know if you people saw it uh, well, but maybe I gotta play it again. Uh, let me just repeat it, Malam Nasir Erufai talking about Professor Pius Adesan. Professor Pius Adesan me, who always, consistently, without fail, delivers very insightful and thought-provoking speeches. I don't know how he does it. Uh, I'll be encouraging one of my sons to study French in the University of Illore, hoping that he might end up like Pius, but I guess it's just wishful thinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was Malam Nasir Rufai making his own uh, observation or comment about Professor Pius before he came on the podium to deliver the speech on the day. And I remember that after that, I met Professor Pius Adesomi, and the moment I met him, he said, Shagu Olo. <laughs> I'm like, it's not Olo, it's Olo. <laughs> so, Prof was like, Oh, okay. Kilon Shele. So, we had conversation, as you can see in the picture here. One second, please. Somebody's at my door, and this is a moment. Sorry, people, I'll be right back.
apologies please uh, so prof when i met him i we i said prof i will not be snapping photos with you again no he said why i say <laughs> when somebody stands beside you it will look like somebody is short <laughs> and then he laughed we joked we talked I didn't know he had been reading my pieces on Sarah Reporters too then, so he knew me. But away from that, we had a brief interview together, we chatted. He said, oh, could you come to my hotel? I said, no, I'll be busy because I'm going back to campus now. He said, call, call me. He gave me a number. I said, call me. I'm in one hotel down there in Lagos. Call me. Come. Let's, let's have a, a meeting together. So at the time, he was looking to bring myself i later understood he was trying to bring myself modi olaguru uh idowa Okweju, and a few other young chaps he has been learning understand he has been reading pieces from that he wants us to come together and see how all of us can do something for nigeria while he's abroad and all of that then another event i met uh, professor pius at this summit at was um i think it was in 2013 when the center for change had a special uh, 53rd anniversary symposium for nigeria you know um nigeria was at 53 nigeria at 53 event and then it was a person because at the time center for change is one of the organizations set up by dr joe keodumaki and as of the time i was the media director for Dr. Joe Kiyodumaki at Women Arise. So we planned it and then she decided that she would get Professor Pius at the summit for, to deliver the keynotes at the, the speech. So he came down and delivered the speech. At the time, you can see I was media director for Dr. Joe Kiyodumaki at, as of the time. He came, Professor Pius at the summit came, delivered the speech. And I think it was at the moment I also met Malam Nasir Rufai. It wasn't a governor yet, but I, I recall well that he was already the former minister of the FCT. So he came, he delivered the speech, and the title of that speech was Brother Nigeria, Bros Niger, and So Things. Brother Nigeria, Bros Niger, and So Things. Professor Pius had this on me incorporated Yoruba language and I recall he will always make reference to Isonlu Yagba in Kogi states and then he was weaving all of these things in a very sweet and flowing manner you will not want to leave the all even if your woman is calling you you will say madam I cannot answer you now can you wait because he made a very fine speech referring to nigeria as an old country at 53 yet he used contemporary language to say bros niger to refer to nigeria again as per what is nigeria supposed to be doing but what it is is it doing and he mentioned so things that nigeria may have lost its soul and it is time to find the soul of nigeria back very fantastic delivery then that was the second time i met him he came to lagos again he was at neka house at alausa in lagos the third time i met him was at the 50th birthday of uh, mrs uh, bamidele ademola olatejo as you can see on the screen this was her 50th birthday and then prof came down uh he wanted us to snap also on the day but i said prof me i'm not snapping with you except all of us are going to sit down <laughs> i said except we are all going to sit down me i will not snap with you because i will not be in the photo it will look like it is only you and he laughed it was on the same day i met tunji light Ario Mo, who was also contesting to be governor of ondo state as of the time but i learned that he later supported Akere Dolu and is now already a commissioner in 
in the state, in Ondo State, which is my own state. So I remember people came and were like, I've been reading you, are you Shegun Olo or are you Shegun Olo? Some people pronounce it correctly, Olo, some will say Olo, some will say Olo. But then Professor Paras had this on me. Did you know? He now called us together again at this event now. Modu Olaguro was there, the Wawakuju was there. Um quite a number of comrades were there. And then he did something that day. He now called me. Because as of that time there was crisis on the campus of the University of Lagos where the university was busy rusticating students because the students union was just reinstated after more than a decade in 2015 and then there was crisis you know they were suspending a barely barely one year barely one year old you know um, 2015 or 16, yes, I think 16. Barely one year old student union that was just that has just been restated. You want to re you want to suspend it again? So we started a fight. I didn't know Prof was reading because I started the hashtag Restore Also on the social media space. So we were already using it to be fighting. And at the time they were looking out for who is writing what, and they were rusticating. At the time they wanted to rusticate me. I'm aware but i don't know for whatever reason maybe they didn't find my own as too too harsh as those of femi adeye femi adeye was basically <laughs> just going for the head of the vc saying if you have something up in your skull is rustication the next thing to be doing when we are talking about electricity on campus water and all of that so they decided to pick femi adeye and rusticated him we were doing the online fight, we were doing all of those, we were planning struggles. So I didn't know Professor Pius Adis on me was taking note of, of all of this. So during this birthday program for uh, 50th birthday of Mrs. Bamidelia Demola Olate Jude, he called me. He said, Oh Lord. He said, This thing here, uh, he, he discussed two things with me on the day. First, uh, he told me about. You know, because as of the time, they just had um, this program, this meeting, where Professor Raman Bello, the then Vice Chancellor, uh, Professor Maipadi, and Father Professor um, Akin Oyebode, uh, I think the Registrar and other other professors of University of Lagos, uh, went for a meeting with the the. Uh, the the board or the management of uh Carleton university in canada or tower then to finalize uh, a window of transferring unilag students or some students to canada to Carleton. you know I, they were arranging for that window then for to make it easy to exchange i mean to transfer students like for instance it would be easy for me to as a student of university of Lagos to go and proceed on my studies in Canada and all of that, or to make scholarship programs easier at the time. So he discussed this with me. He said, Shegun, I want you to, this program is for people like you. So I want you to come to Canada. So, you know, as a stubborn person, I just say, Prof, see, free me, me up for NAS a day. I say, I want to rough Nigeria small because uh, I'm not, sh it's not in my head that I want to leave Nigeria for now. What is in my head right now is that. I want to still do some things in Nigeria. I don't believe I cannot make it if I don't. They said, no, but it's, it's an avenue. It's an opportunity. Come to people like you should be, you know, should benefit from this thing we are creating. We are not creating it just for creation's sake. Mm -hmm. We are creating it because of people like you. He wanted me to come to Canada, but I said, okay, I'll give him feedback. He gave me another number. I said, this is my number now. I'm in Nigeria. Let's talk, please. I'll not be in the hotel until 8, but see me. Gave me the appointment. I said, okay, prof, I'll see you. But Then he mentioned the second thing to me, that he, w he had been following the crisis on campus of Union Line, that during this meeting, he had also mentioned the matter to them. Why are they uh, victimizing student activists? 
you know he didn't tell me the detail of the conversation about victimization of student activists he just told me i mentioned it and um, he just said okay 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 you know what Shegun? let's let's talk better come and see me in my hotel i said okay prof i'll make time out to come and see you but i knew deep down in my heart i was not going to have time that evening to go and see prof um so he then mentioned the issue of rustication blah 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 to me he said ah you guys are doing well though okay, but he doesn't also understand the rationale behind uh, uh rusticating people who are merely fighting for welfareism i said pro of you to you see now so are you not talking to these people she they came to canada you were not talking to them i so you now it was now like <laughs> and he activist equity better you know prof would he understands what you are saying but he's the type that believes also in using your skill to pass the message without necessarily causing unnecessary <laughs> but you know those of us who had little little trainings with you know consultation confrontation and consolidation we will still believe that the confrontation is important when consultation is not working so fast forward i met prof you know okay this was the thing we were doing at the time he said he had been following that he had been seeing what we were doing uh because uh okay let me make this uh big so that everybody can see it. he said okay this to 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 the extreme right that was me the next to my left was uh is um modi olaguro in my front the person in orange is origin the speaker of the also at the time that is Univers university of Lagos student union on his back is femi Femi's front is the person smiling with his teeth open is uh at the back in Sirajuddin who is now contesting in motion for House of Assembly uh or House of Rep and then the person back in the camera is Azantai was a way to who came from ERC that is um education rights Commi committee ERC he came to solidarize with us on campus on Inla campus then and then to his right the person wearing green green is the also um what do you call him now also president then that's uh mo mohammed so it professor told me he had been seeing all of these things he wanted us to find a way to make it uh to to intervene and talk and um, all of that but i didn't go to see him that evening because i i had other programs that event went the next and uh, the I think it was no it wasn't the last time the next time i would see prof was one time shore was in town did i reveal earlier in this program that i used to write pieces for sarah reporters then and then so shore will always anytime he was in town shore usually sneaked into town shore used to sneak into town then because he was <laughs> more like a personal non grata he would sneak into town and then he would call Say, hey, Shagun, yeah, this is this is sure, and, and I'm in town. Can you come and meet me up somewhere? Like, so I went there. When I got there, it turned out that Shore was not alone. Shore was with uh, there was Professor Moses Ochonu, the person at the middle in the picture. You can see Shore there. You can see me to the extreme right. As of the time, we were still looking for Chibo girls, so I carried the Chibo girl matter for my head that time. So and then Professor Pius had this on me. Beside Professor Pius had this on me is the same woman I've been talking about, Mrs. Bamidele Ademola Olateju. So that was that was what happened. That was the third time I saw Prof in Lagos. So it was a meeting between, I mean, among them, these four persons, and Shore just called me to say, "She gonna come to so so place." So I went there, and I was like, "Ah." You people did town as soon as they sneak in, you know. So that event when we, we had some conversations too and then Mrs. Bami Dali also gave me no, I think this event was even before our fiftieth birthday if I'm no, I no, it's not, it's after. And then we, we, we had a chat, we talked about uh she had a farm business, she's I can mention it because she has always been talking about it by herself on her Facebook post and live videos talking about her farm uh how it is how our farm is doing and how uh feasible farming is how valuable it is how profitable to farm is 
and why it is a staple thing to do and that why Nigeria must go back to agriculture. So she mentioned her farm thing to me and then uh, I said one day I wanted to visit and even probably even shoot a documentary on her farm and all that and she was like, yeah, let's talk about it. So that was another occasion I met Professor Paras I did something the third time in Lagos. And then the last time, and I cannot believe I will not see Prof after this time, aside from reading, reading him online and chatting with him and, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, the way he talks to people. So it was at the launch of the Civic Media Lab in Lagos. He, alongside uh, Mrs. Bamidele Ademola Olateju, were to deliver the Education Cafe you know to nurture people and talk to so i was in charge of the coverage multi-camera coverage uh, documenting and all of that so i was in charge so moment i got there and then uh, it turned out it was sahara reporters show that had invited them to come and lecture people on the education cafe to commemorate the inaugural or to inaugurate or to launch the civic media lab so he came in i was like ah and you don't get people, you are here. And I'm like, Prof, <laughs> I heard that you are coming, and I'm like, I must be here. He said, Ah, Shele. before the speech, before the event at all, he said, She go ya, oh Lord, let's snap, let's snap, let's snap, let's snap, let's snap. He said, Oh yeah, Bamidele, wa, you can snap, well, oh Lord. And Mrs. Bamidele came around, and I was like, Ah, I tell my dad, Prof, no, I'm not snapping if you have to stand, because Prof will dwarf all of us. You know, he's this towering statue or stature that if you stand, if you stand beside him, you will look like. <laughs> I'm like, Prof, mm -mm. we are, I'm a Jokoya photo. We are going to sit down for this photo. Say, I'm not going to stand with you. It was like, okay, 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 okay. Eh, where do we sit? Ibola Ma Jokosi. He had not come into the, into the uh, place, into the small conference all at the time. Um, he was still at the at the lounge coming in when he met me. Ah, Jaka snap photo. He came in the same time with Miss uh, Bamidelia Demola Olateju. That was the last time I would see Prof, and I never believe it would be the last time, because I remember he was sometimes chatting me. He added me to groups on Facebook trying to encourage me. Uh, group of book readers, African literature lounge this and that added me to groups and you'll be like Shegun, are you following are you monitoring uh what's your take what's your this you know is that kind of person who is full of is busy with programs busy with literature busy documenting minute by minute experiences if he's in one hotel in ghana he will detail how that hotel uh, the services in the hotel are superseded those of the Nigerian counterpart, what Nigeria still needs to learn from Ghana, if it goes to you like Ethiopia and all of that, it will mention things they see that Nigeria still lacks. If you if you go to any country where um where he has gone to deliver a speech, it will tell us what he notices in the attitude of the audience differently from those the Nigerian counterparts. Uh, if you go to, if you visit any country where they gain independence the same time as Nigeria, it will, it will do comparison and say, what is wrong with Nigeria? The people that gain independence, even after you, see where they are in terms of innovations, creativity, industry, what is wrong with you, Nigeria? And then you always try to relate it with us. He will say the millennials. He calls us the, sometimes he refers to us as the millennials. He will say, you just millennials, you don't understand. It will make, make reference to even when he was a small boy at Isonlu. It, it will make reference to Yagba and Kogi State. It, 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 will make, it will make reference to Okun. I remember those things because I've not been to Kogi State before. But most of these places and references to Kogi and those villages or towns in Kogi are things I heard from Professor Paris Adesomi. <sighs> Honestly, Throughout yesterday, I was still waiting for one post from him to dismiss rumor that he was in that craft and that he had died. You know, this is the second crash Professor Pius Adesomi had been involved in in less than a year.
I think less than six months ago, Professor Paras Adesomi was in Nigeria traveling by road between Ogbomosho and Oyo State. Yeah, he was in a road crash and he almost died. We are still thanking God that he survived. Little did we know that a Boeing, three se a Boeing 737 belonging to Ethiopia Island was going to truncate Professor Pius Adesami's life. This is very unfortunate. I still hope somebody would denounce or dispel the rumor and come out that Professor Pius Adesami either missed the flight or survived in the crash by a whisker or survived anyhow. Is too big and a valuable material and resource for Nigeria to lose. It's unfortunate. Why are wicked and idiots lounging everywhere in the country? We have idiots, too many idiots in Nigeria. We are too many inhuman people in Nigeria. Why are we losing the lives of Adesomi? Why? We have idiots, idiots who are stealing the resources of this country blind, moving up and down in the country doing nothing for humanity we have them all over why are we not losing those people why are we losing their dishonest why sometimes you wonder in fact life itself is a cheat life is a cheat because if life is not a cheat why should good people be dying like fowls and the idiots i'm sorry but you, you can't but help you can't help it but use the appropriate words to describe these people who will be lounging, will be stealing resources, will be killing other people and they'll be everywhere. And we will have the likes of Pius this on me dying like foul. Like foul. What is wrong with us? Ethiopian airline matter, they are Boeing seven three seven, it's another matter we'll come back to that later. I'm still in pains, psychological pains as to how a day some will die like chicken, like fowl. Ethiopian airline will come to you, Boeing 737 will come back to you. And I also learned that Nigeria is currently ordering Boeing 737. And in less than a year, in fact five months, that Ethiopian airline has already lost two Boeing 737 in similar circumstance, losing uh, computer communication, uh, uh, cockvix, uh, cockpit voice recorder and cockpit whatever communication losing control in similar circumstance less than 15 minutes in the air and the plane is crashing and they are losing they are losing communication with the control room we will come to all of those technical issues corona inquest or whatever I'm not interested what matters is that we are losing Pius on Miss Africa, what is happening to us? What is happening to us? You cannot live in Lagos and enjoy your life. It's overcrowded. Lagos is overcrowded. And they are taxing you like they want to kill you. They are just using people for businesses. They, are, they have refused to develop other cities where you can even go and forget Lagos. And if you want to leave this country altogether, you are, not, you are going to a country where you don't, you don't know whether the next morning there will be another set of, another rise of xenophobia against Nigerians because there are too many Nigerians leaving their country out of hopelessness. You don't know whether you are leaving for a country where there is xenophobia or racial attacks on people. So you are like... Why can't people be proud of their nationality because they are Nigerians? Eh? We have many idiots that we can use to replace. If it, I wish that life allows us to replace and say, okay, no, give us this one back. Take this idiot. And let us vote. Let's, let's put it to voting. Say, who wants this one back? Let us replace with this one. I wish it is just like that. Perhaps this for me is gone. I will not say there are consolations. Yes, he left a daughter. But then, he has many children. Pius Adesomi tried, he replicated himself. 
by pouring himself out to many people so he has put a piece of himself in many people for the first time after a long time dr joe K. Ogdumake called me yesterday and made a statement to me and said shegun somebody 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 a relative of pastor this one called only a day before i think and said that they should kind of talk to Pius that is overworking himself and that he was always on one flight or the other and, and, was, and that Pius also made a statement that he felt that the rate at which he was going he was going to die soon and I'm like what kind of thing is that now that Professor Pius said that the rate at which things were happening fast for him whether it was referring to achievement or something that the rate things were at, at the rate at which things were happening fast for him it is looking like they're happening fast because he would not last so long i'm like mm -mm. things happen fast for people but they do not automatically translate to that they will die soon they said it was pious himself who said it and that was somebody relating it only a night before the crash. Pious had this on me. No now. <laughs> no now. I'm sorry I promised I was going to open the phone line. Let me do it. At this point I want to say in case this is true because I'm still finding it difficult to accept or believe in case this is true my condolences to mama in Kogi State, to the families, relations, the writers community, civil society organizations, Pastor Tunde Bakare, I know how much you love him. Yeah, I read Pastor Tunde Bakare talk about Pastor Adesomi, and I know how much. Pastor Tony Bakari loves him. Dr. Joe Kiodumaki. She still called me yesterday. We had not spoken for over a year. But she called me yesterday on the account of Professor Pius Adesomi. I said, ah, can you imagine? Shore. Because it was through Shore's platform that I first met Professor Pius Adesomi. Sure, uh, please, God will give all of you, all of us, the fortitude to bear. Mrs. Ad but Mrs. Bamidelia Demola Olateju. And I know the reason why I have to uh, mention this more. Mrs. Bamidele. Mrs. Bamidelia Demola Olateju. I, I know how, this, how heavy this is for you. I know. I know. I know. I know I have you, Mrs. Bamdele. They are always together, always doing stuff together. Kao de Ogundam, you see. I know. The entire civil society, I know how it feels. And then to the political friends and foes. I know a lot of people pretend they love Pius Adesomi. A lot of people love Professor Pius Adesomi. At the same time, a lot of people actually do not even care. You know. I know some people are happy now. His political enemies. Because Pius Adesomi will always 
lashon i remember when i started reading fr at first from pious at this army it will make reference to everybody in the quarters it will talk about ruben abati you you will create satirical par parodic parodic scene of what is going on in Nassau rock jonathan was the president then ruben abati was the spokesperson you will write you will be creating imaginary talks between them whenever any news broke about how their master or their principal said to be a drunkard was fumbling you will write you will write orontos orontos you will write you will write you will create it will make you feel like you are in asshole rock and seeing the way they are discussing among themselves who else does satire like Pius Adesomi on his column <sighs> Prof, I can't believe this. Well, if you want to call in, the phone in line is 081 70 74 7424. This would be only for. I'm only going to open the line for 10 minutes. So if you're online, please, you can call in if you have any words. So maybe you want to share a moment you had with Prof. Uh, you want to let us know something I did not mention about Prof. I may not know everything. I've read stuff from people today already. I've read stuff from people today already. I've read people saying things. Uh, how they met him. What they did together. And I understand. You know. Uh, yes, let me also do some comments. If if you are not able to phone in, if in case the line is not good, but you can see the line on the screen already. Uh, zero eight one seven zero seven four seven four two four. If you are calling from outside Nigeria, do not forget to add the country code two three four before the number. Uh, it's still hard for me to believe Prof is gone. It's still hard for me to believe Prof is gone. Because I remember, I remember how he plays, how he talks, how he will look into my eyes and say, Ah, Mba Olo. Shit happens, man. <sighs> Thank you, Ella. Ella on YouTube. Yeah, I also wonder why good people die. I wonder too. I wonder. Life is unfair, man. I'll be closing this show in the next uh, 10 or 15 minutes. If you want to call in, that's a line on the screen. Um, or if you want to make your contribution by comment, it's displaying. I'm going to make it a full screen display soon. And then, so that we can. What did I not mention about Prof? Professor Pius had this on me. And he always talks about his daughter anytime he wants to leave Canada. And the daughter would be like, Daddy, are you going again? Daddy, are you leaving me? When are you coming back? We have a caller. Hello, good afternoon. You're live. Hi. Uh, hello. Yeah, I can hear you. Please go on. And uh, in fact, I'm, I will tell you that I'm kind. I'm sitting with you internally. I'm at work, but I can see the way you're feeling. And I'm feeling the same way you're feeling, yeah. Anyway, I don't know the prof, but I've been reading about him two days ago. And uh, in fact, look, Shegun, because I follow you so much. Just become relaxed. 
Okay, I can feel you. That's what I need to talk to you about. Just relax. I can feel you. I can see your mood. I can see everything. Relax. It's okay. That's life. It's gone. It's gone. That is the time. Let's appreciate God for everything. I, I'm do, I do, I'm do, I'm only calling just to talk to you, just to Thank talk you. to you because I like it so much. Thank you. Yeah, man. please. It's okay. It's okay. I'm one of your followers and it's your other follower. Thank you. I'm also from Mondo. So please, I just Thank want you. to. Yeah, please. Thanks very much. Have a great day. And you too. Yeah. Thank you. I wish I can get a call now announcing that Prof is alive. I wish. I wish. Seriously. I wish. Seriously. <sighs> Thank you, Vess Akins. Dot Ajaguno. Sad. I'm sad I don't know about the man either because I should have, with how active I've been. You you want to meet Prof. Thank you, Auntie at New York. I see your message on WhatsApp. I, I see. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> I think I'm going to have to close this show. I'm moody already. It's so uh, sad. Prof, I want to say this. Prof. Pious at this on me. I can't believe this is all. I cannot believe this is all. I cannot believe. Adieu, Prof. Till we meet to depart no more. <laughs>